This is spiritual war, Nigerians, which is sent strong warning to Peter Obi and Atiku Abubaka pledges protection to Tunubu on May 29. <laughs> Nigerians, this is getting hotter. Hmm. Now, wow. So we have all these powerful witches and wizards in this country, and we are experiencing all the killings and kidnapping and the hardship everywhere, and they not do anything. So what is their use for? If they cannot help us, why we are in trouble? Kidnappers, they did they kidnap. Boko Haram, they did they keep bandits, Fulani Hesmen and all that. What of the... The, the, the poverty now when don't take over uh, Nigeria. They're not people who use their power to do anything. Well, let's quickly hit the news and get the full details. But before then, guys, if you're just joining us, please kindly subscribe to this channel and don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you. Which is saying strong warning to Peter Obi and Atiku Abubaka pledges protection to Tunubu on May 29th. Yesterday, the White Witches and Wizard Association of Nigeria pledged with resentful politicians not to thwart Ashwa Jubola Maitinubu's inauguration as president on May 29 at Igu Square in Abuja. The organization said that they had dissatisfied with how politicians have behaved since Tinubu was named the veto of the February 25th presidential election and stated that he would be given access to no less than 300 witches and wizards to protect him from danger. The group spokesperson, Dr. Obu, told news reporters in Calabar that they care about and would protect the nation's unity. We welcome Tinubu back to the country, he stated. Remember that Tunubu won the, spirit, the spiritual election for president of our organization, which was conducted roughly two months prior to the Hetley election on February 25th. Oh, we have now studied the country's recent events. We urge the parties that feel offended to attempt peace behavior because turning to self help would be more determinator to the polity than beneficial. Tudubu has nothing to fear since all of the deformation efforts that have been launched against him are just divisionary tactics. We are busy. The terminating and disinfecting the Abuja area where Tudubu will work. What Tunubu needs right now are the prayers of all Nigerians for good health and long life so he can fulfill his renowned hope, commitment to a better life for all. Speaking on the upcoming Kogit State gubernatorial race, Obior said that the group, the group had met with the state's three largest tribes and had compiled their requests. We have met with the Yoruba, Iberia, and Igala populations in the state. He said we spoke with and listened to Igala, Iberia, and the Yoruba people in Ida and Ikaba. If Dino Milai wants to fulfill his goal of becoming governor, we encourage him to come visit us. He will check all if he follows our counsel. Since the, the state tree and the strength will support him, whether or not Governor Nwike does. Hmm. Hey guys, when I don't hear the matter now, so say Nigerian witches don't want Peter Obi. <laughs> they don't want Peter Obi, they don't want Atiku Abubaka. They see this Bola Metunubu inauguration. Make him stay out too. He said because they're there on ground, then they are Buja. Then they clean it everywhere. They go deal with anybody where won't do anything. You understand? That apart from that, Tunubu don't really win the election spiritually, you know, for their group. He said Tunubu don't really, they, Tunubu, they conducted the election 
you know, uh, within them. Tunubu already win. So what is like, what they're trying to say here now is Tunubu is one of them. So he's one of the Nigerian witches and wizards. <laughs> okay, so because they are claiming now that Tunubu is one of them and they will make sure that they will protect Tunubu and all that. Like what I said in the beginning, if these people get all this power now when they, they clean, say they get, they can use it to protect and uh, fight anybody or whatever. All these Wahala, when we they face for Nigeria, all these bandits, when they keep people, Boko around when they keep people, why they not use, that, use their power? They go destroy themselves, make we get peace now. Because Nigeria not get peace. And I get this kind of power when they try to talk so. At least when I go use my power, do all those things. So that those people go understand, say, hmm? they go, they understand, say, not be every country they go fit toil with. Since we get powerful witches for Nigeria, when they shade us from Wahala, then all those foreign Fulanese, according to Nigerian government, when they call the key Nigerians, they destroy crops and all that, don't turn Nigeria upside down. Uh -huh. If all these witches and wizards come out, come they show their power to them, they go no say Nigeria and no go area. But with all these things coming out to tell all these things now, me I not know it and I won't talk again. Well, if you hear within Nigerians, they talk safe. You go no say, then they tell them, say, see, the kingdom of darkness hmm? and light, eh? You say not get any connection. You understand? They should not bring their their darkness. Can't even join the one when Nigeria there already. Okay, <laughs> let me just take this. The kingdom of darkness shall never prevail the light of God to her with all over all over them. Peter Obi's mandate will be reclaimed. Hmm. Now everything self person will just talk. I beg may fire of the Holy Spirit consume you wizard and tunubu blood suckers. So tunubu is a wizard. He 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 hmm. does these witches and wizards eat food, drink water, wear clothes, pay rent, pay bills, pay school fees, buy fuel, buy gas, like us. Where have they been when Nigerians have been passing through all this hell since Tunubu brought uh, Buhari to power? So they are the ones convincing or conniving with politicians to suffer Nigerians, Abi. All this why? Well, God's power is superior. Okay. So Nigerians, make a drop out for you. I beg. Kindly share your thoughts.